energy loss in a transformer. In reality, the assumption that transformers are 100% efficient is not a valid one. Some energy will be lost to the surroundings. In practice, energy is lost from a transformer in the following ways, resistance of the coil, eddy currents in the core, magnetization and demagnetization of the core, and leakage of field lines. Energy can loss in a transformer due to the resistance of the coils. Heat will produced when currents flow through the resistance. Thus, the heat produced will result in energy loss. Energy loss due to coil resistance can be reduced using thick copper wires. The currents induced in the cores are known as eddy currents, as they flow in little circles in the cores. Eddy currents cause heat to be produced in the cores, resulting in energy loss. Energy loss due to eddy currents can be reduced using a laminated core, which made from thin sheets of soft iron insulated from each other to have high resistance. The high resistance will reduce the flow of eddy currents, and thus reduces the energy loss due to eddy currents in the core. Every time the direction of the magnetizing field is changed some energy is lost due to heating. This is because, work has to be done to change the magnitude and the direction of the magnetic field in the core. This energy loss can be reduced by using cores made of soft iron, as soft iron can be easily magnetized and demagnetized. The field lines produced by the primary coil may not fully cut the secondary coil, especially if the core has an air gap or is badly designed, which contributed to the energy loss in a transformer. This can be improved by winding the secondary coil on top of the primary coil. Practical transformers have secondary coils wound on top of the primary coils to ensure that all the field lines from the primary coils pass through the secondary coils. Thank you for taking time to watch this.